So in a real earlier lab, we looked at how you can uh, import uh, Excel spreadsheet into SharePoint. In this lab, we'll explore two more options. So in front of me, I have student budget import directly from Excel.xls file open and I'm going to upload both my uh, data files into the um, resource category so you can uh, download if you wish but the spreadsheet is very uh, basic with expense category with car miscellaneous expenses phones and rent and amount and percentage of total income this is just hypothetical numbers so uh, i am in excel and i want to import this excel file to the sharepoint okay so how we, we gonna do it step number one in your excel spreadsheet select the data that you want to export to the SharePoint. So I'm going to select A1 to C5. This is the data I want to export. And then I'll go to the, um, the data, the my options as format as table. So click on format as a table on the top menu and select one of the styles. So your uh, data range has been selected and click OK. So your uh, data range has been selected as a table. Next, we will export this data to the SharePoint. Um, remember that in case you click on something else, we are under the table design. And uh, under the table design, we'll click on the export button and click on export table to sharepoint list under the address bar it actually knows that we want to select go to the abc site but in the event that you don't know the url you can simply go to the sharepoint site and copy and come back to excel and copy paste in this case, I'm just going to select ABC site. Uh, when you click on create a read only connection to the new SharePoint list, the list will be automatically uh, updated on the SharePoint. Um, you can connect for now and uh, you can disconnect if you wish. Here you will provide a name and description of your table. So I would say something like that maximum is and click next here you will see that your column data type and key cells are coming up so you have expense category amount and percentage of total income so your table headers becomes your columns and uh, the data type is whatever the, the you have defined in excel click on the finish button And it gives you the message that table was successfully published and may be viewed on and there's a link here so either you can click on this link so I'm just going to click on the link here and uh, here my this is my site and the system created my expenses um, list here on the ABC site and here you can see the expense category amount and percentage of total the three columns that we had and here is here are our data car miscellaneous response and rent now let's go back to our previous excel sheet and just click on the message okay and uh, you would notice that Microsoft Excel has open in browser link is now active so you can also open this link within the excel so go to the table design and click on the open in browser and essentially we come to the same page for my expenses now when we set up our export we had clicked on read only connection with the sharepoint so this is how that read only connection really works so for example we are in our sharepoint site and i will click on car which has the amount $200 and I'm going to change that amount. 
So in our Excel spreadsheet, the car is $200 and I'm going to change the car expenses. So click on the car expenses and click on the, um, the, the, the details pane and change this amount from 200 to, for example, 330, 330 and click anywhere on the white space. So car expenses is now $330. Let's go back to our Excel spreadsheet. Right now it's 200. Click on refresh button and click on refresh. So car expenses is automatically refreshed to 330, which we created in our SharePoint. So, so this is a one way connection that if you wish, you can maintain. The last task that I'm going to do is I'm going to unlink. So there'll be no connection between the this list and the SharePoint because I don't want to um, have the SharePoint updates bring it to the Excel spreadsheet. I just want, don't want to use the Excel spreadsheet going forward. So I'm just going to click on the unlink and it will say this will permanently remove and query definition from the sheet. Continue and click OK. So there is no link between SharePoint and um, our Excel spreadsheet now onwards.